Hey, I'm Ryan from GMB Fitness. In this video series, I'll be covering everything parallettes. I'll be covering topics such as the benefits of P bars, looking at difference in height of the P bars, in material of the P bars. Also, be looking at a full routine that you can use that covers bent arm as well as straight arm exercises and a whole lot more. All right, let's get into it. The parallettes are a great tool to help you build really solid upper body and core strength. Now, something that I really like about the parallettes and using the parallettes is that it's a bit easier on the wrists. So if you're having wrist problems when performing push-ups, uh, handstands, or anything else on the floor, you can take those movements to the P-bars. And because of the angle of the wrist, when using the P-bars, it helps to alleviate a bit of that pain and allows you to continue working on those particular movements. Now, something else is they're fun. It's an alternative to just doing a particular movement and as well, it can be a good stepping stone going from movements from the floor and working up to the rings. Because of the stability of the P-bars, it allows you to practice certain movements going deeper in those movements before you then move on to the rings. Two common questions that I receive regarding the P-bars is what is the best height of the P-bars and what material of the P-bars should I be using? For example, wood, PVC, or metal. Now to address the first question, in a perfect world, you could have two sets of P-bars. One that is low and one that is higher. Now, they both have benefits. For example, in the beginning when you're working with P-bars that are higher up off of the ground, the movements will be easier. Let's say that you're working on an L-sit. When working on the tuck position, because you're higher up in the air, it's gonna allow yourself to pull your feet back. It's gonna make the movement easier. As well, when you're learning new movements where you're having to pull your body from the front of the P-bars to the back of the P-bars, simply gonna be easier because you have more clearance. Makes sense, right? Cool thing though about having higher P-bars is when you start working on some of the more advanced movements, say the handstand push-up, because they're higher, it's gonna allow you to drop your head further in between the P-bars making it more difficult, making the movement more difficult. Now, likewise, if you have a set of low P-bars, as you get better, taking things to the ground is going to force you to compress your body more, therefore further strengthening the core. So, the best set of P-bars, to be honest, is really whatever you have in the very beginning, but then as you get better, making adjustments, and then possibly buying a set of higher P-bars or lower P-bars depending on what you want to work on. Now to address the next question, what is the best material to use for the P-bars? Well, first off, I would like to say that I believe that for parallette work, parallettes are the best thing to use. In other words, a set of kettlebells or dumbbells, I personally don't think are very good. Reason why, they're not stable at all. Heaven forbid you use those, lose your balance, fall on your head, break your neck. We don't want that. So, first and foremost, if you're doing a lot of parallel work, I suggest purchasing a pair of parallettes. These parallettes are actually bamboo. Um, our good friend Dusty uh, makes these. They're P-bars with a Z. And these are actually custom built for me, uh, beta testing some of these, but doesn't mean that you have to have these. Anything will work. I prefer wood. The reason why is uh, over time, the natural oils in your hand um, seep into the wood, making the grip even better. Uh, therefore, you're not going to be slipping. Metal is perfectly fine as well as PVC. Again, it's, it's kind of a personal preference. I do suggest though, if you're using metal uh, or if you're using PVC, just to make sure that the grip is solid on there. So for example, something that you can do is take tennis tape or even athletic tape, wrap that in order to make sure that you're not slipping off of that. Again, this is a personal preference regarding height as well as material. Let's take a look at how to set the width of your parallettes 
as well as the hand placement when performing movements. Now, there's three settings that you can use. And I uh, got this from way back when I was in gymnastics. This is how we would set up the P-bars uh, whenever we needed to perform our routines. It's very, very simple. All we're gonna do is we're gonna take our elbow and measure out to our wrist, our knuckles, or the fingers. The width is gonna depend on your personal preference. If you're looking for more of a narrow uh, setting for your P-bars, you'll place your elbow to the inside and then set it up to about the start of the wrist. So basically where my watch is right now. This is pretty narrow, pretty narrow. Now the other option is simply just to move this out so that it's at the top of your fist. This is my personal preference. This is what I like to use, but that's just me, okay? Also, by the way, make sure that your arm is straight across and not at an angle. That will mess up your P-bars. And the final one is simply extending the fingers. This is a very wide position for the parallettes up to you again my personal preference though in the very beginning if you just want to try this one out is to make the fist go from the elbow right to the top of the fist it's a good general place to start off now let's take a look at hand placement it's a big one make sure that you're using this you're going to find that it's going to help tremendously and also just make it a lot easier on the wrist when you do this so it's very simple all you're going to do is start off making sure that your shoulder over your wrist. It's very straight. And the way to do this is to simply place your thumb on the top of the P-bar so that it's facing forward. Now notice that my wrist is not turning outward or dropping, nor is it dropping to the inside. We don't want that at all. So by placing the thumb on top of the P-bars, then you'll notice that you have this straight line. Now it's just a matter of wrapping the fingers and wrapping the thumb, keeping that position with the wrist. This is a very good habit to get into when you're setting up for the P-bars. Very beginning, placing the thumb on top of the P-bars, wrapping the fingers and then wrapping the thumb before you're setting up for your movements. Pretty simple, but a big one for wrist health. All right, next up, we're going to take a look at a full routine that you can use to train all the movements using the 5P framework.